Grace and peace to all. This is Pastor Jackie King with First United Methodist Church in College Station, Texas. I share with you a reflection simply called New Freedom, Embracing Our Watch Night Experiences. The scripture is Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 13, and Revelation 21, 1 through 6. Ecclesiastes reads, For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to throw away stones, and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek, and a time to loose. A time to keep, and a time to throw away. A time to hear, and a time to sow. A time to keep silence, and a time to speak. A time to love, and a time to hate. A time for war, and a time for peace. What gain have the workers from their toil? I have seen the business that God has given to everyone to be busy with. He has made everything suitable for its time. Moreover, He has put a sense of past and future into their minds. Yet they cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. I know that there is nothing better for them than to be happy and enjoy themselves as long as they live. Moreover, it is God's gift that all should eat and drink and take pleasure in all their toil. That is Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 13. Revelation 21, 1 through 6. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth have passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them as their God. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. That was Revelation 21, verses 1 through 6. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, thank you for guiding and directing us to experience a new freedom in you. Give us insight from the past. Prepare us for the future. Let us see a new day and continue to give you all the glory and the honor in Jesus name I pray amen what is a new freedom and what does it mean to embrace the watch night experiences in our life I share with you some historical background that was written by Reverend Jonathan Chisholm who is a American African American religion doctoral student at Rice University the Department of Religious Studies he gives the historic background of what does it mean for us to know about watch night experiences he shares this historical thought about what we have known and how the whole experience of white watch night has evolved this is his historical statement or few of his statements rather he says numerous african-american christians observe watch night in a variety of ways but the tradition itself 
came from various other experiences. The first watch night service began with the Moravians, a small Christian denomination whose roots lie in what is called the present-day Czech Republic, and it started around 1733. John Wesley, who was the founder of the Methodist movement, picked up that tradition and incorporated it into Methodism at the time, and he began with encouraging everyone to make covenant each year with God to contemplate what their state of grace was as they thought about the second coming of Christ. Wesley believed that all Christians should affirm their covenant with God on an annual basis. He held watch night services between 8.30 p.m. and 12.30 a.m. on the closest full moon Friday that came to before New Year's Eve. And the United States, the first Methodist watch night service, was probably held around 1770 at Old St. George's Church, which is located in Philadelphia. Richard Allen, the founder of the African American Episcopal Church, was a member of the church at that time, and he was watching um, for freedom. He was seeking freedom, and so those were the themes that were around the watch night service. But the one that is most lifted up is um, the watch night service of watching for January 1, 1863. On December 31, 1862, it is said that African Americans all throughout America were watching for freedom because they were seeking to celebrate the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation which many consider the African Americans Christians proclamation night to celebrate freedom during these watch night services many African Americans were seeking and praying and talking to God about the new freedom that they would have as soon as the proclamation was signed but again, I ask the question, what does the scripture say about us seeking to understand the watch night experience and see the new experiences that God has for us? Revelation 21 says that we will see a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth will be passed away and the sea will be no more. When we look to God for these new freedom experiences we're seeking to know that God is doing a new thing God is blessing us in a new way and we are desiring the move of God to take us from what was into a new experience of freedom what is watch night about is it just a New Year's Eve celebration is it simply a time to get in touch with our spiritual well-being if we think about some of the hymns that we've sung over time, there's a song that's called, We've Come This Far By Faith. And it says, we've come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord. So if we're going to seek a new freedom and we're going to embrace new life, we continue to trust in God. Or maybe it's the song that says, How I Got Over. How I got over, how I moved forward, how I crossed the River Jordan. It's a dependency upon the Lord. We often see the scripture from Jeremiah 29, 11. It says, For surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for your welfare and not for your harm, to give you a, new, uh, give you a future with hope. So part of new freedom is embracing what God's plans are for our life. The covenant prayer that John Wesley wrote I'll share that to help us to see not only what new freedom is about, but what is expected of us as a Christian. What does it mean to embrace what God has for our life? The covenant prayer that was um, considered the Wesleyan covenant prayer that was said during this service simply says, I am no longer my own, but thine. 
put me to what thy will rank me with whom thy will put me to doing put me to suffering let me not be employed for thee or laid aside for thee exalted for thee or brought low by thee let me be full let me be empty let me have all things let me have nothing I freely and heartily yield all things to thine pleasure and disposal and now O glorious and blessed God Father Son and Holy Spirit thou art mine and I am thine so be it and the covenant which I have made on earth let it be ratified in heaven the covenant prayer was said during this service to remind us that the new freedom is about knowing that the love of Jesus Christ and forgiveness of our sins that we are renewed and reconciled unto the Lord so why at the beginning of the year Wesleyan believed that we needed to covenant every year with God and be blessed in a way that only this new year experience could set us in full connection with what the Lord was calling us to do so I asked you this day to think about Ecclesiastes there's a time and seasons for everything is it as time and season now to be free enough to let God have his way is it time and season now for you to be at peace with what God is calling each of us to do including you and including me it is a time to seek and a time to lose a time to keep and a time to throw away what do we have to leave in one year and what is God calling us to embrace in a new year think about these things as we reflect on what does it mean to embrace a new life and let go of the past enjoy your watch night experience and watch for God to do something great in the name of the Father in the name of the Son in the name of the Holy Spirit be blessed Thank you.